We are discussing the management of periprosthetic femur fractures with specific emphasis on preoperative planning and how it relates to surgical execution. Please take note of my disclosures as they are directly relevant to the content of this video. There is clear recent evidence identifying an increasing prevalence of early femur fracture following total hip replacement in North America. These cases represent notable surgical complexity, specifically regarding understanding the fracture fragments and planning their reduction and fixation, as well as achieving independent implant stability in the uninvolved distal fragment and reconstituting leg length and soft tissue tension with the reconstruction. The principles of entering through the fracture site to preserve the soft tissue attachments to the bony fragments and achieving distal fixation with a modular fluted stem with subsequent rebuilding of the fracture fragments around that internal strut was described best in this publication. The basic concepts in preoperative planning of one of these cases involves first understanding the fracture configuration, then seeking the uninvolved bone that is available for distal fixation, identifying local anatomic landmarks within the distal fracture fragment to assist in positioning of the reamer and the stem in order to reproduce the preoperative leg length and soft tissue tension and finally the strategy for fracture reduction around that newly formed internal strut. 